the event will be a very personal honour for you. It will, um, both in my position as one of the chiefs of staff, so the heads of the armed forces in the UK, and also as Colonel Commandant of the Rifles, which has had an association with his, uh, his Royal Highness for 68 years. And being able to stand and march in front of the coffin as part of the funeral procession feels like a huge honour and a significant responsibility. I'd always said he wanted a, a no-fuss funeral. That's something we've heard quite a lot. Tell us what, what that's meant in practice and what you understand by what he meant. There's a lot in there that, that is very him. You know, we've got uh, a Land Rover that's been designed by him, that's been maintained by Jaguar Land Rover, scrupulously, I understand. There's a backup just in case it goes wrong. We were talking about that yesterday. What happens if it breaks down? Do we stop? Do we start again? The answer is no. Um, painted in particular colours. Um, and then, of course, he's, he's been, you know, he's, he's taken a personal interest in every aspect of it, but, but in particular, the selection of which units, which bands, which music, which medals will be there. So it is very much his funeral designed by him. There are hymns that will be sung, but it's just by four uh, members of a choir. But the programme of music that will be played from the moment the, uh, the soldiers form up in the quadrangle at St George's, the hymns that are played before he comes out, so I've out.